Welcome back to Yellowcase Tutorials. I'm going to show you guys how to back up your iTunes media using iTunes itself. And for that, I'm going to, of course, launch iTunes. And much like many of you, I'm sure, I have lots of music and movies and TV shows and books and just tons of stuff that if I lost, I'd be pretty upset. So I want to make sure to always back these things up somewhere that I can always recover them. And you'd be surprised after a couple of years of purchasing stuff, um, you know, you could have a couple thousand dollars, if not more, in media. So the top left of your screen, under File, you can select Library back up to disk and if I select that it gives me a couple options here one is to back up the entire iTunes library and my playlist now that first option it would be very heavy especially if you're gonna back it up to a DVD uh, and incredibly uh, large if you're gonna back it up to a regular CD and the other option is to back up only those items that you've purchased at the iTunes store so let's say you have a couple hundred songs or even a couple thousand songs and a couple maybe whatever it is 20 30 40 50 movies you're still gonna need a lot of DVDs to back that up now what's really neat about this is that you can click only backup items added or changed since last backup so if I start backing up just my iTunes store purchases or my entire iTunes library and have this checked it's only going to back up the items that I have not yet backed up on my when I click on next here. So something you might want to do routinely. Uh, you'll notice below here it says to restore from a backup disk. Open iTunes and insert the disk. Uh, so uh, if you were to lose something, you're able to restore those items with the disk that we're about to burn. To burn these items to disk, I can pick the disk burner I want to use. I have three of them, and these two are actually in my tower internally, and this one here uh, I have as an external drive. Under the preferred speed, you pick from whatever speed your drive allows you. Mine goes up to 24 times. Now, keep in mind that the slower it is, the less error prone it's going to be. So, for example, in my case, I would probably pick eight times. Now, if you have as much media as I have to back up, this is going to take a lot of time. So I would start first thing in the morning if you want to get a decent night's rest that night. So I would hit eight times and click on next. And it will then prompt you uh, for a disc. Make sure you have plenty of DVDs or CDs available. You're going to need them. Also, if you're able and you know what they are, use dual layer DVDs those will allow you up to 8.4 gigabytes as opposed to the standard 4.5 on a single layer DVD now CDs only allow you a fraction of that between 650 and 800 megabytes on a CD so that's not very much when you're backing up CDs I'm sorry backing up movies and uh, large large files so that's how you back up in iTunes I'm gonna hit cancel here now that's one way to go about it however because I use my time machine and you'll notice I have a drive dedicated to time machine for those not familiar with that uh, it's a part of the Mac OS 10 that allows you to back up your entire um, computer and any drives associated with that computer onto a drive continuously so if I were to ever delete a file uh, a movie or uh, music I could recover it very easily Alright, so that's how you back up in iTunes through iTunes.